Hello there, my name is Josh from uh, Vision Tech and this is my reflective outlook on the short film and uh, for my independent project. The short film was called Last Breath and basically it was an idea I had because um, I saw a lot, there's a lot of talk about the college athletes that were committing suicide. Washington State quarterback Tyler Haninski um, literally weeks after his final game had committed suicide out of nowhere and that idea just kind of stuck with me. So when I was trying to develop an idea for a short film, I started like just writing the script about an athlete. And uh, basically, it was just, you know, it was a rough day. A lot of stuff happens within the short film. I think pretty realistically, because in life we can't plan for certain things. And that I really wanted to capture that edge moment of when things can just go wrong. And, you know, we're always not, we're all human. We're not thinking um, clearly. And just to get that really, I wanted to make something that you can really just feel, you you can feel like trapped. And uh, so, basically, I started scripting. So I wrote this script. I actually, I wrote this script on a free software online called uh, Writer Duet. And you can get the pro version. But I've used professional script writers before, and I just didn't have it on this machine. So when I used it on here, it was actually very easy. You learn the language of how to script easily because if you use it like I'll tell you what do you want you want the blank scene action character parent you know that parentheses dialogue what do you want and like you just learn how to work with it and it could really just help you write a movie and if you've never scripted a film before I mean usually people plan for their movies but getting it on paper for what you want to see on the screen it's very easy to change it it's very easy to change it for when you actually get there on shooting, but it just helps keep everything in line. So, like, just trust me if you ever want to start writing short films, whatever, before you make your own videos, little home movies, whatever. Try to, you know, script them out. If there's a few characters, if you want to capture certain things, script them out. It'll, it'll help you. So, early shooting in actors, uh, I originally had an actor for this with a runner, which was one of my friends. Uh, both the actors were my friends, and I've worked with them before. And uh, it was originally supposed to be a runner, and I wrote the script. I changed the script to where it was more runner-based. So I'll, he sees a lot of the running posters. There's clips to him actually running, stuff like that. And then when he couldn't do it, I got another actor, a, w a great friend. He's a wrestler. So then I changed the script to fit more of a wrestler's view. And there were some scenes that I, did, that I wrote more broad to where once I got there and tried to figure out the detail, I would do it there. But yeah, we printed those. We printed the final wrestling script and kept it with us. We wanted the tone to be a bit darker. You know, we wanted to have these really crazy zoomed-in shots of when we're looking at phones. We want to feel the captivatedness that you see within it. I'm, I think we did a pretty good job of capturing that, and just we really wanted to, to connect emotionally with uh, with athletes and people of high school. And we want to show a good message at the end, of course. Editing. Um, the editing with this, especially for the very, like, I'd say 80% of the movie, it's all dubbed in. It's all added in. It's We had a, the microphone on the camera wasn't working, and I've planned as an editor to always just be ready to have time to add in those sounds and stuff. You know, I was time crunching a little bit, but I was able to get the sounds in that I needed. So, like, all the stuff you hear... It's not real. Give it a second. You know, but now that you're thinking about it, probably you can kind of figure it out. But I think we did a pretty good job. You know, working with your actors and trying to explain to them what you might see or what they should expect. You know, I tell them I'm gonna put the sounds in, just acts like you know normal, like you're texting somebody. Reflection, what went well? What went well was planning for the actual movie. When you look at this movie visually, it is it is exactly how I wrote it to a point. Of course, you're gonna make changes when you actually finally get there, when you actually have cameras rolling, when you actually look at the room. All right, certain shots didn't really look so good, but at the end of the day, the shots that I had planned for all made it in. Some of them we didn't use. Some of them. Some of the script ideas we didn't use. We only used like two of them, really. But all of them, they all made sense, you know? And so it, when you look at it that way, I think the project came out very well. What didn't go well was 
I wanted to add more content. I wanted to, to add just so much more, but there's only so much you can squeeze into a short film with the amount of time you have. So I wish I could have just planned for so much more. And I'd probably say I wish I could have cleaned up some of the camera work on some of these things, but like we only had a day and a half to shoot. So we had to get that shot quickly. And it came out pretty well. So things to improve on next time, more content, uh, cleaned up the editing a little bit more because like towards the second half I had to start hurrying. But at the end of the day, it came out pretty well. I'm very happy with this film. So for those people that are wanting to start doing that, I, like I said, write it, plan for it, and then start shooting. Don't just try to jump right into shooting or you'll find yourself trying to backtrack on a lot of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reflection. If you found the reflection and have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I recommend <laughs> seeing the short film first. So if you want to come from a learning perspective, uh, thank you for watching and check out the Vision Tech YouTube channel. Thank you.